In the upcoming chapter, get ready to be shocked as unexpected guests arrive at Lu Sheng's home. Among them is President Xiao Zhuha from the Baihe Martial Artists Association and Miss Ni from the Hong Chan Martial Arts School. Their intention is revealed as Xiao Zhuha presents Lu Sheng with an official warrior brass badge, certifying him as a second-level official martial artist recognized by the Warrior Association. Additionally, Lu Sheng is offered a one-time bonus of 1 million yuan and an opportunity to participate in the prestigious talent training camp in Dongning Province, reserved for the most gifted martial arts prodigies. To top it off, Mi Shuang extends an invitation for Lu Sheng to become an honorary disciple of the Hongchan Martial Arts School, complete with a generous monthly stipend of 100,000 yuan. In the previous chapter, President Xiao Zhuha found himself in hot water with government officials for failing to secure representation at the upcoming talent training camp in Dongning Province. He vented his frustration over the difficulty of finding a martial arts prodigy locally. However, his mood brightened when he received news of a promising genius named Lu Sheng. Filled with excitement, Xiao Zhuha made the decision to personally visit Lu Sheng's house to express his gratitude and immediately grant him a level 2 assessment certificate. Meanwhile, Mi Shuang, the daughter of the president of the Hongchan Martial Arts Association, discovered Lu Sheng's address and decided to pay him a visit, bearing gifts for his family. Alright folks, let's set our sights high today, our goal is 600 likes. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. Lu Sheng was abruptly awakened by a sharp knock on the door, prompting him to exit the dream clock earlier than expected. His younger sister, Lu Qing, urgently called out from the other side, her tone betraying a hint of anxiety. Observing the unusual behavior of his sister, Lu Sheng couldn't help but speculate about the reason behind her urgency. Her gentle knocking and direct address as brother raised suspicions, especially coupled with her mention of someone looking for him. With these thoughts swirling in his mind, Lu Sheng tidied up quickly and made his way out of his room. Lu Sheng's modest home layout allowed him to see the living room as soon as he stepped out. To his surprise, he found his parents, Lu Da Hoi and Zheng Yufen, accompanied by two unfamiliar guests, a man and a woman. Lu Da Hoi and Zheng Yufen beckoned him over eagerly, their expressions a mix of confusion and excitement. As Lu Sheng approached, his parents introduced the guests. The man was President Xiao Zhuha of the Baihe Martial Artists Association, and the woman was identified as Miss Ni from the Hongchan Martial Arts School. Ni Shuang, the young woman, greeted Lu Sheng warmly, reminiscing about their previous encounter. Maintaining his composure, Lu Sheng exchanged pleasantries with the guests. Despite the buzz surrounding his recent test results, he remained composed and unaffected. Both Ni Shuang and Xiao Zhuha were impressed by his demeanor, recognizing him as a rare talent in Baihe City. When the conversation turned to the purpose of their visit, Ni Shuang gracefully deferred to Xiao Zhuha, acknowledging his authority in the matter. With a warm smile, Xiao Zhuha revealed their intention to present Lu Sheng with an official warrior badge on behalf of the Baihe City Warrior Association. The news left Lu Sheng intrigued, his eyes sparkling with anticipation. Meanwhile, Lu Dahoi and Zheng Yufen watched in astonishment, struggling to comprehend the unexpected honor bestowed upon their son. Xiao Zhuha chuckled as he spoke, It's not every day we come across such an outstanding high school student like you, Lu Sheng. That's why I've taken the liberty to personally commend you for your achievements. With a flourish, Xiao Zhuha produced a gleaming brass badge from his pocket and presented it to Lu Sheng with a warm smile. On behalf of the Baihe City Martial Artists Association, I'm pleased to inform you that you've successfully passed the assessment as a second-level official martial artist. From this moment forward, you'll hold the esteemed title of a second-level official martial artist certified by the Warrior Association. Pausing briefly, Xiao Zhuha continued in a kindly tone, Your exceptional performance in the Combat Power Index test has far surpassed the expectations for a second-level warrior. As such, we've decided to award you with a monthly martial arts allowance based on the standard for a third-level warrior. Additionally, in recognition of your extraordinary talent, our association is delighted to present you with a bonus of 1 million yuan. We hope this will further motivate you to continue your martial arts journey and achieve even greater heights. The weight of Xiao Zhuha's words hit Lu Dahoi and Zheng Yufen like a thunderbolt, leaving them dumbfounded. Their mouths hung open in disbelief, their minds struggling to process the staggering news. Lu Sheng, a level 2 warrior? Enjoying the privileges of a level 3 warrior? And a 1 million yuan bonus? It felt like a surreal dream to the astonished couple. Meanwhile, Lu King's reaction was slightly more composed, though she couldn't hide her astonishment. Lu Sheng, on the other hand, remained remarkably calm. Apart from the generous bonus, everything else was within his expectations. Expressing his gratitude, Lu Sheng accepted the badge and bonus check placed before him. 
Curious about any potential expectations in return for such generosity, Lu Sheng turned to Xiao Zhuhe for clarification. In response, Xiao Zhuhe revealed an upcoming opportunity, the talent training camp in Dongning province, where only the most gifted martial arts prodigies are selected to participate. Ni Shuang, seated nearby, interjected cautiously, expressing awareness of the rigorous selection process for the training camp. She recounted a cautionary tale of a former student from the Hongchan Martial Arts School, who returned from the camp defeated and broken, cautioning Lu Sheng about the risks involved. Despite Ni Shuang's warning, Xiao Zhuhe attempted to persuade Lu Sheng of his immense potential, urging him to seize the opportunity. However, to Ni Shuang's dismay, Lu Sheng remained resolute in his decision to attend the training camp, confident that it was not his limit. Witnessing this exchange, Ni Shuang couldn't help but feel a twinge of frustration. Now, it's time to tell us why you came, Lu Sheng said calmly, fixing his gaze on Ni Shuang. Ni Shuang was caught off guard. In that moment, she sensed a complete change in Lu Sheng's demeanor. Where he was once restrained, there was now a hint of relaxation, akin to a silent lion revealing its fangs inadvertently. Flustered, Ni Shuang felt a slight tension and oppression in her chest but quickly composed herself and spoke, I want to invite you, Lu Sheng, to be an honorary disciple of Hong Chan martial arts. Honorary disciple? Lu Sheng frowned, seeking clarification. Ni Shuang hurriedly explained, outlining the perks of such a title, free courses, equipment, personal instruction from her father, and more, all without any binding obligations. She admitted that the title was unconventional but justified it by Lu Sheng's exceptional talent and young age. However, Lu Sheng firmly declined, refusing to accept the implications of being labeled a disciple. Ni Shuang attempted to negotiate, but Lu Sheng stood his ground, unwilling to be associated with any title that might be exploited for prestige. Instead, he suggested the title of honorary member, agreeing to visit the martial arts gym for self-assessment. After some internal struggle, Ni Shuang accepted Lu Sheng's terms in agreeing to the honorary membership. Hong Chan Martial Arts will be paying $100,000 per month to Lu Sheng. With this agreement in place, Ni Shuang bid farewell. The house fell into a profound silence, tinged with an air of disbelief. Lu Sheng stole a glance at his parents, who were still examining the badges and checks with a mixture of astonishment and gratitude. He approached his mother, reassuring her that she no longer needed to work nights, which were detrimental to her health, and advised his father to take a break from his strenuous labor, now that their financial situation had improved. With those words, he turned away and departed. To Lu Sheng, the martial artist badge and the one million check personally delivered by Xiao Zhuhe seemed to hold no significance at all. A week had passed, yet He Lingsu of Xing Shantang Pharmacy remained visibly irritated. Her focus was consumed by a new drug her time and energy wholly dedicated to its analysis. Day after day, she delved deeper into the pharmacology and ingredients of the mysterious liquid, each discovery more astounding than the last. The tonic, of unknown origin, surpassed all others in its efficacy at strengthening blood, meeting and even exceeding the standards set by the Pharmacists Association for various levels of tonics. With a plethora of additional benefits and minimal side effects, its estimated cost was a mere 5,000. Despite its remarkable properties, searches through the Pharmacists Association's database yielded no relevant information, hinting at its novelty. For He Lingsu, this suggested a groundbreaking new drug, one with epic-making significance. It explained her stubborn determination, her unwavering focus. Then, a call from Ma Fei interrupted her thoughts. What? She snapped, her irritation evident. I found the master, Ma Fei stammered. What? He Lingsu exclaimed. Her interest peaked. Ma Fei's strange expression and pointed gesture directed her attention to the TV in the pharmacy's lobby. A news segment featured an exceptional martial arts prodigy named Lu Sheng, whose combat prowess surpassed even third level warriors. He was none other than the student Lu Sheng from Baihe No. 3 Middle School. Staring at the screen in disbelief, he links who heard Ma Fei's voice explaining that Lu Sheng, the pharmaceutical master they had been seeking, had once used their dispensing room. What? He Lingsu exclaimed once more, her mind reeling at the revelation. Lu Sheng, a martial arts genius and now, it seemed, a pharmaceutical master. The realization hit her like a whirlwind, leaving her overwhelmed with possibilities. In Shuhai City, atop wild fox mountain, the dense forest hummed with the warning cries of animals sensing the predator's approach. The figure darting through the foliage moved with terrifying speed, causing a ripple of shock in its wake. Lu Sheng, propelled by an otherworldly momentum, hurtled over rivers and ascended the mountain's peak in a relentless sprint. 
his chest rose and fell in a rhythmic cadence, each breath extending far beyond the capacity of ordinary lungs. His strides resembled cannonballs, covering seven or eight meters with each thunderous step. Amidst his exertions, Lu Sheng marveled at the fusion of stellar power into his martial skills and the efficacy of absorbing dream memories. These enhancements had pushed his mastery of body techniques to unprecedented heights, albeit still shy of the prowess of a third-level warrior. Yet, fueled by the natural breathing method, Lu Sheng sustained his pace. Each inhalation seemed to draw energy from the surrounding air, revitalizing his weary muscles and propelling him forward with renewed vigor. Pushing his body to its limits, Lu Sheng tapped into reservoirs of strength previously untapped, surging with vitality even as fatigue threatened to overcome him. Finally, his feet alighted upon a platform at the mountain summit. Steam rose from his overheated body, emanating a heat far beyond the norm. The rush of blood coursing through his veins was palpable, a testament to the extraordinary feats achieved through his relentless pursuit of physical and martial excellence. Lu Shang exhaled deeply, feeling a wave of relaxation wash over him. Breakthrough, he exclaimed, clenching his fist as he sensed a significant surge in his blood value. The increase in blood value means my physique has improved, and I can continue practicing with stellar strength, he reasoned aloud, contemplating the implications of his newfound strength. This means my combat effectiveness index will skyrocket again. His mood buoyant, Lu Shang reflected on the unexpected benefits of his mountain climb. His primary reason for visiting Shuhai City was to gather ingredients for the bone nourishing pill, with one crucial ingredient requiring fresh picking from Wild Fox Mountain. Little did he anticipate the additional gains, a breakthrough in both blood and stellar strength. As he descended the mountain, a middle-aged man, weathered and lean, approached him, bearing the herbs Lu Sheng had requested. The man, having freshly picked the herbs as agreed, handed over the medicine basket. However, when Lu Sheng mentioned the previously agreed-upon price, the man's demeanor shifted. No, it's one thousand per plant, and you must buy all the medicine here, he declared, a sly grin creeping across his face. Confounded by this sudden demand, Lu Sheng frowned. Before he could protest, the man and his cohorts began to close in menacingly. Unfazed, Lu Sheng calmly placed his hand on a nearby boulder and, with a display of brute strength, shattered it into pieces. The sudden display of power left the group in stunned silence, their bravado crumbling in the face of Lu Shang's strength. As the man and his cohorts retreated, begging for mercy, Lu Shang offered them a lesson in honesty before departing with his herbs, leaving behind a bewildered group in his wake. With this, the chapter concludes. Don't miss out on the next installment. Hit that subscribe button and join us for the continuation of Lu Sheng's remarkable story.